Last January, MicroStrategy shares plunged as much as 15.1% in trading on Monday due to the decreasing values of Bitcoin. Now, you might be wondering, why did the fall of Bitcoin affect the shares of MicroStrategy? Well, if you want some answers, then you will find them here. For today's video, exclusive to our Crypto Clippers, we are going to talk about what really caused the shares of MicroStrategy to decline and what does MicroStrategy have to do with Bitcoin. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get into the main topic, let us first talk about what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin is a digital currency that has no central organization, banks, or government. It relies on peer-to-peer -peer software and cryptography. Bitcoin transactions are recorded and copied. This can be stored on servers worldwide, where anyone with a computer can set up one of these servers. These servers are known as nodes. Each node will have a consensus to determine who owns which coins without relying on banks. Transactions are publicly broadcasted to all of the nodes, and Miners combine transactions into blocks to add them permanently to the blockchain. This is Bitcoin's universal account book. As you would keep traditional coins in a physical wallet, the virtual currency can be held in digital wallets. It can be accessed either from client software or online devices. Now, can this Bitcoin be converted to cash? Bitcoin can be exchanged for cash just like any other asset. There are a variety of websites online where people can trade Bitcoin for other currencies. But, transactions can also be carried out in person or over any communications platform. Bitcoin doesn't have any intrinsic value. But, this is true for many national currencies since they left the gold standard. Despite that, Bitcoin continues to thrive and has been more resilient in recent years than national currencies. Bitcoin was created as a way for people to send money over the internet without any banks or retailers in the middle. The digital currency was intended to provide an alternative payment system that would operate without any central control but with similar functions to traditional currencies. Now, What's the relationship between Bitcoin and MicroStrategy, you may ask? For that, let us know what is MicroStrategy first. If the high stock market excites you and you believe that buy the dip is a legitimate investment strategy, MicroStrategy will be your favorite company. The company has everything that an extremely aggressive investor would want. The price is extremely high which makes it seem to levitate above the rest of the market. Part of the magic is that people who are excited about cryptocurrency opportunities gain profitability in MicroStrategy as well. MicroStrategy is business intelligence software that uses advanced analytics to help business owners find answers and insights. MicroStrategy provides powerful features, including data discovery, data visualization, embedded analytics, and reporting. It also provides actionable information and provides it over the internet and mobile devices. MicroStrategy gives organizations an opportunity to analyze both internal and external data, giving them an advantage. So, what does Bitcoin have to do with this? Last year, MicroStrategy, a software intelligence company, amassed more BTC. They bought 1,434 during the time period of November 29 to December 8, paying $82.4 million in cash at an average price of $57,477 US dollars per BTC. Michael Saylor's company bought an additional $82.4 million worth dollars of Bitcoin around the week after announcing a $414 million purchase. MicroStrategy says they purchased 122,478 Bitcoin worth approximately $6 million. 
they bought the Bitcoin at an average of $29,861 per coin, which totals to a purchase price of $3.66 billion. The acquisition comes as MicroStrategy also announced buying 7,000 BTC worth of Bitcoin for $414 million. One of Sailor's famous mantras is HODL. He believes that anyone who borrows their Bitcoin will not be able to profit from trading. MicroStrategy could make a huge amount of passive income with Bitcoin backed loans. However, Sailor has said that their objective is to reduce counterparty risk, which is always high when it comes to Bitcoin loans. They've also increased their Bitcoin holdings in order to do this. It is estimated that MicroStrategy has spent approximately $500 million on Bitcoin when the price dropped from $69,000 to $48,400. MicroStrategy was buying a significant amount of Bitcoin as the market turned fearful, paying more than $7 million BTC each day for 29 consecutive days. Sailor decided to be greedy during the downtrend in order to take advantage of a long-term opportunity. Now, do you see the connection between MicroStrategy and Bitcoin? The shares of MicroStrategy tumbled on the market and fell 17.8% after the U.S. government rejected their accounting strategy for Bitcoin. The computer software company MicroStrategy has seen a drop in its shares last January. This can be explained by the fall in the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin fell more than 10% to its lowest point since August, and MicroStrategy shares have dropped 24.7%. In its Form 10-Q for the quarter that ended September 2018, MicroStrategy used non-GAAP measures to show investors what its income would have been without having to report Bitcoin as a loss. However, the Securities and Exchange Commission has objected and has issued a letter about their objection. The U.S. does not have any guidelines for how to report the value of digital assets. On binding GAAP guidance from the American Institute of CPAs says, that companies should classify the currency as an intangible asset, as outlined in ASC 350. With an asset like Bitcoin, you can only record the value as shrinking. For MicroStrategy, when Bitcoin decreased in value, it will hurt their bottom line since they hold Bitcoin as an asset. The company reported a net loss of $3.61 million dollars from September to October 2021. But when share-based compensation is included and digital assets impairment, the company's unofficial income is $18.6 million per filing. But MicroStrategy did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Then, they revealed that the company used non-GAAP measures to give the most accurate possible picture of its finances. In the company's viewpoint, using GAAP would only provide an incomplete assessment of Bitcoin's holdings, which would only be less meaningful to management or investors. The company wants to show how much they are holding, including the increases and declines in value. The company further believes that the inclusion of Bitcoin non-cash impairment losses may distract investors from the analysis of its enterprise software analytics business. Strategy has disagreed with the SEC about adjustments to its future filings. On December 3rd, the SEC told MicroStrategy it objected to these adjustments and ordered them to stop doing this from now on. MicroStrategy said in a letter dated December 16th that they would obey the command of the SEC. In 2021, MicroStrategy wrote to the U.S. Accounting Rulemaker Financial Accounting Standards Board to petition for a change to the existing cryptocurrency accounting rules. Hundreds of other letter writers followed suit. Recently, the FASB has changed its opinion about digital assets. 
it had rejected the idea for a long time. But recent investments in Bitcoin have complicated the issue. They said that they would now be researching it. Now, you might be thinking, what are the reasons why MicroStrategy has been keen on Bitcoin? And why did MicroStrategy choose Bitcoin among all the cryptocurrencies? First, Bitcoin is digital gold. In a press release, the CEO of MicroStrategy, Michael Saylor, called Bitcoin digital gold. Saylor unreservedly plugged cryptocurrency over both flat and other traditional safe haven assets. Investing in Bitcoin is like investing in gold. It is digital, harder, stronger, and smarter than any other currency. Some of Bitcoin's strongest supporters are actually claiming that digital scarcity makes Bitcoin much better and more useful than any type of money before it. Safe Dean Amos in his book claimed that digital scarcity was a key trait that made the currency different. Like Amos, Saylor believes that Bitcoin structure will ensure future value. Bitcoiners were thrilled about MicroStrategy because it unashamedly replaced flat currency for cryptocurrency. Its purchase of 21,454 BTC for an aggregate price of $250 million late last year may not only be symbolic, but also means that the company controlled 0.1% of the total Bitcoin supply at that time. Something competitors will find increasingly expensive to replicate. The host of the What Bitcoin Did podcast even tweeted that MicroStrategy bought 0.1% of the Bitcoin supply and that very few companies could copy the strategy. Saylor writes about how an unstable company is a perfect excuse to start hoarding Bitcoins. He said, First, the COVID-19 crisis. Second, hefty government stimulus measures. And third, global uncertainty. Finally, Saylor was highly complimentary about Bitcoin in particular. He was very excited and talked about how Bitcoin is emerging as the currency of choice. The company didn't mention any other currencies were considered. He found that Bitcoin has many benefits and should be a long-term store of value. The speaker found Bitcoin to have more benefits than any other form of currency. Bitcoin is the largest cryptocurrency and has been defended against different attempts to weaken it. Its existence for the past 11 years has seen it both remaining the leading cryptocurrency and fend off multiple concerted efforts to undermine it. As Amos says, only Bitcoin has proven itself through this method. And what's more, no other crypto has been able to gain the status and popularity of Bitcoin. The level of mining support for BTC proves in the long term, Bitcoin will become even more secure and its market power will only increase. With Bitcoin's technical fundamentals showing a broad uptrend, it is because miners are dedicating more resources to the network. But the question is, is MicroStrategy a good stock to own this year? MSTR's shares have tumbled due to their rapidly growing Bitcoin holdings. Bitcoin is plummeting, which makes their prospects look bleak. There is also a lack of profitability to improve on the situation anytime soon, which doesn't bode well for MSTR. And as mentioned, MSCR stock went down 23.1% in value in the last month and down to 30.3% over the past three months due to investor anxiety around its increasing investments in digital assets. It closed at $482.95, 16.3% below its 52-week high of $1,315 that it reached on February 9, 2021. Though the demand for MSTR has spiked, 
there are some concerns revolving around the internet shutdown in a Bitcoin mining hub in Kazakhstan. The company also has some problematic aspects outside of the internet outage. The company is saddled with long-term debt and struggling to maintain revenue. So, this could lead to a further downside to the stock in the short term. First is the risk in Bitcoin investment. In 2021, the MSTR company expanded their portfolio by investing in 9,000 Bitcoin and raising capital through an at-market equity offering. In December 2020, the BI company announced in a regulatory filing they had purchased about 1,914 Bitcoins for about $94.2 million cash at an average of roughly $49,229 per Bitcoin. However, the price of Bitcoin is down to a three-month low. This is because investors are anxious about the U.S. tightening of monetary policy, along with the internet being shut down in Kazakhstan, which is the world's second biggest Bitcoin mining hub. The uncertainty all markets are facing is expected to negatively impact MSTR stock price, leading to increased volatility. MicroStrategy also has a bleak growth story. Let's predict MSTR Incorporated's revenue will increase by 5.6% year over year to $537.75 million in its fiscal 2022. However, its recommended EPS for the upcoming quarter indicates a decline of 11% from last year's quarter. And Analysts are predicting that as FYE 2022, it will have an EPS of $6.23, which is 7.3% less than what it had in FYE 2021. MSDR has seen its revenue decrease by 0.3% over the past 5 years, and its tangible book value has declined by 1.1% over the same period. Aside from that, it has weak financials and profitability. MSTR's net loss expanded to $36.1 million in the quarter ending September 30, 2021. It had a loss from operations of $49.7 million, an increase from its previous year's loss of $1.48 million. Additionally, MSTR only had cash and cash equivalents of $57 million on September 30th, which is significantly less than the amount of money it carried on December 31st, 2020. Lastly, their long-term debt increased from $2 billion to $2.15 billion in the past six months. Results for the past 12 months show a negative 17% net income, which is a strong indication of the company's performance. Lastly, it has a stretched valuation. MicroStrategy is currently trading at a very high valuation. If the price-to-earnings ratio is measured based on a non-GAAP forward P slash E, the strategy is higher than the industry average and trading at 73.37 times, which is 198.2% higher than the 24.6% industry average. Similarly, its 14.71 forward EV slash sales multiple is 257.5% higher than the 4.11 industry average and its 10.09 forward price slash sales ratio compares with the 3.95 times industry average. MicroStrategy took huge losses because of Bitcoin. The company has had 114,042 Bitcoins worth $2.406 billion on its balance sheet as of September 30, 2021, with plans to buy even more. That position would now be worth $3.90 billion, which is down nearly 50%.
MicroStrategy has sold equity in order to buy more Bitcoin, which is dangerous because they are now leveraged to the price of Bitcoin. This might be good if Bitcoin prices increases in value, though this would not be the case if Bitcoin's price decreases. The reality is that investing in MicroStrategy right now is a leveraged bet on Bitcoin. MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor has become an ardent supporter of the cryptocurrency and is literally betting the company's future on its value. And that's a risky bet. Today, the move isn't looking good. But overall, Sailor's investments are profitable. Wherever Bitcoin goes in the next few months and years, MicroStrategy will follow. And although the company's digital asset strategies and continued interest in cloud-based solutions are promising, its revenue is declining. The stock might not appreciate in value anytime soon because the cryptocurrency market has had an extended loss. There you have our crypto clip video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and like this video. If you think that we have delivered value, please share this video with one person. Just one share is enough for you to show your appreciation for the commitment and hard work we all put together in creating this video that teaches and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. If you don't know that, one share could go a long way. And keep in mind that no matter how many times you're going to watch this video, you won't see any results until you take action. Goodbye and see you at the next one.